Emerging holographic near-eye displays offer true 3D display capabilities and ultra-compact device form factors for virtual reality display systems. Holographic displays operate by modulating coherent illumination to form 3D images using 2D phase modulations with an SLM. An important design parameter of a holographic display is the attendu. It characterizes the information capacity of the display and can be calculated as the product between the field of view and the eye box. For a given display, the attendu is constant, which is determined by the number of pixels in the display. One can use a longer focal length eyepiece to trade field of view off for eyebox, or use a shorter focal length to trade eyebox off for field of view. However, the total information capacity of the display cannot be expanded. When a user looks at a conventional holographic display set up with a small attendu, the image will gradually fade away and eventually disappear as the pupil moves outside the eye box. To cope with this issue, several types of methods have been developed to expand the system attendu without necessitating a higher resolution SLM. The first type of approach expands the attendu by inserting a static diffractive mask at a higher resolution into the optical path. The smaller pixel pitch diffracts the light to a wider angle, resulting in a bigger eye box. However, the use of the diffractive mask reduces the overall contrast of the images and leads to more speckles as the static pattern is not optimized against the content. The second type of approach steers the incident illumination to dynamically shift the eye box over a bigger area. However, at any moment, the instantaneous eye box doesn't change. Thus, it requires accurate eye tracking and high-speed steering to position the eye box to the moving pupil which can be prone to tracking failures. These steering or scanning architectures also require more time multiplexing, reducing the frame rate of the display. The third type of approach uses a grid of evenly spaced laser sources to illuminate the SLM simultaneously. Each source creates a shifted copy of the center eye box, and together they cover a bigger viewing area. However, such methods also create copies of the same target content over the field of view and contaminates the intended graphics. A way to fix this is to add a fixed random amplitude mask at the Fourier plane, or the pupil plane, to break the symmetry between the copies created by the multiple sources. However, the random mask again introduces unwanted speckles because it is not optimized against the content and does not support time multiplexing of different amplitude patterns. In our design, we replace the random mask with a dynamic amplitude modulator and we co-optimize the phase and amplitude pattern to reconstruct the target light field, which drastically improves the image quality over the expanded eye box. By synchronizing the phase and amplitude SLM, we can achieve content adaptive filtering which greatly outperforms randomly generated static modulation. Here we show in simulation that a 4D light field can be faithfully reproduced over the extended eye box and correctly reproduce the motion parallax. We custom printed a multi-source laser mount and built an experimental setup to validate the proposed content adaptive light field optimization scheme, and the experimental results well match our simulation. Here, we show experimentally captured focal stacks. Our method achieves the best image quality among all other configurations and correctly reproduces the defocus blur. Here, we show experimentally captured light field parallax. Conventional single source holography suffers from extreme brightness fall off at the leftmost and rightmost viewpoints, while our method successfully reconstructs light field views within the expanded eye box. The novel optical design and algorithmic framework presented in this work improves the attendu of holographic displays and allows for light field hologram synthesis. These advances in both hardware and software help make holographic displays a more practical technology for augmented and virtual reality applications.